Man who's very much in the hot seat now, Daryl Jacob. I should think your phone was red hot when that news broke yesterday. Yeah, it was. Yeah, look, it was a you know it's a great opportunity and uh, you know one that uh, myself and Paul are really looking forward to. What was it like this morning, opening up the racing post? And see your names on the front, of, and you're confirmed as the number one jockey for Paul Nichols. Yeah, it's great. It's like you say, it's every every jockey's dream to be, um, you know, to be riding for the, you know, the champion trainers and uh, you know the big trainers and owners. And uh, look, I've been very lucky uh, for the last two years. I've, uh, you know, had a really good um, association with Paul, and uh, you know we've got some really nice horses to look forward to. And uh, you know I'm really excited. I can't wait till October comes around. But as well for you, you'd have been looking at the diary last year and thinking, well. That's the first of the big meetings. I Ruby will probably be over at Newbury. I might go to Down Royal to ride in that big race. Suddenly now the boot's going to be on the other foot. Yeah, exactly. You know, it's, it's it's really exciting times, and like you say, I'm really looking forward to it. And you know, and and so is Paul. And you know, Ruby's been a great help to me over the last few years for advice. And you know, there's no doubt about it. My riding's improved an awful lot because of him. So uh, you know, we're looking looking towards the future now. And like you say, I can't wait. I'm very very excited. But but for you, do you feel like it's been a natural progression, or do you think that it is a massive step up? Um, no, I don't think, to be honest with you. Yeah, obviously things will change, but uh, I, look, I've been, you know, riding, you know, for Paul for the last, uh, you know, two or three years, and I've been riding good horses on a Saturday. So, I think, you know, it's it's we're moving forward really I mean it's not it's not a massive it is a big step and there's obviously a bit more pressure but we're kind of moving forward as a team together and you know I think that's what the the, the real exciting part about it. And when was when did you first sniff that this was in the offing? I didn't really know much about it to be honest with you obviously Paul rang me over the weekend and you know and, and explained a few different things to me and uh, like I say it was it was a really nice call to take. But to ride the winners that you've ridden for Paul of course, the Grand National, that must be a massive boost to have that in your CV already. Almost oh, definitely. Like you say, every, every jockey's dream is to ride in the big races, to win the big races. And, you know, I'm going into, you know, into this new role as, you know, with, uh, you know, like you say, some big, big victories under, under my belt. And uh, like you say, it's, it's another step forward. And, you know, I've got to improve. And, you know, but I'm hoping I just keep improving and things will be really nice and smooth. Do you feel like you have, as time's gone on, the bigger winners you've ridden, the more experience you've gained in those big races means that you're now ready for this challenge? Yeah, I think so. I mean, like you say, I've, I've learned an awful lot from Ruby and Paul over the last two years, you know, especially but more about patience than anything else. And, uh, you know, that's a real a real key that I've learned over the last uh, two or three years. And that's obviously come highly from Paul and from Ruby as well. So, you know, it's, 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 it's really exciting. I just, you know, I can't wait. I can't wait. Uh, and what about you now? Are you going to take a holiday? take stock, refresh and so you're raring to go again? Yeah, I think so. I think I'll take a few weeks off and, uh, you know, later on in the summer, you know, we'll see we've got a busy time, you know, Paul's still got plenty of horses to run in, in uh, you know, in June time so, uh, you know, we get them out of the way and then see how we go from there. Well, the very best of luck from all of us. Cheers. Thanks, Mick. Thank you.